Since beginning my career at the Department of Transport and Main Roads in 2019 as a graduate, I've been lucky enough to progress to more senior positions. I've done so by taking any opportunities available to me, but also taking accountability of those opportunities and making the most of them. The variety of work and, and the innovation that we get involved in and the complexity of projects that we get involved in is really, really interesting to me. There's so many opportunities to grow and develop and move into other parts of the department so you can continue to remain interested and curious in the work that you do. It's about how you show up every day, how you contribute and support the delivery of the work and the purpose we're trying to achieve and the teams um, to deliver that as well. Working for a Department of Transport and Main Roads, there's a number of different roles that you can do with the same skills but applied in a different way. We really put a spotlight on professional development and growth. So whether you're starting in your career or you're looking for a new challenge, there's always development opportunities. You can't get any, any more uh, inspirational, I suppose, as having, having a female engineer leading an organisation. And there's just amazing female leaders across the organisation that you get to work with and learn from and connect with and grow and develop. And the department's a really supportive place for, for women in um, non-traditional uh, roles, I suppose. The Department of Transport and Main Roads, as well as offering this flexible um, work arrangement, provides employees with really interesting and challenging work to work on, a really supportive collaborative environment and um, real opportunities for career progression and career development as well. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, we need to reflect everybody um, in the community and everyone that works at Department of Transport Main Roads has got a real willingness to help and invest in others. So my team really focuses on strategic policy for decarbonisation of transport and climate change. That includes zero emission vehicles, so really emerging policy space, getting to set the direction and look for the benefits for the Queensland community. The other piece for me would be my team. I love the people in my team, I love building them, seeing them grow. It's really fun to come to work where everyone wants to work together towards a really important policy issue. The best thing about my job is that I get to impact the day-to-day -day lives of Queenslanders through policy and regulation. Now that might sound boring to some, but I promise there's some fun involved. Um, for example, I get to work on national laws for the deployment of automated vehicles, as well as e-scooters, which you may have heard about, and the Queensland road rules more generally. The best thing about my job is um, you know, serving the community but making a difference. Policy work, a lot of it is in the background and legislative reform. Sometimes it takes a long time to, to get those changes through, so you do have to be resilient and persevere. But when you get to make those changes, it's really rewarding. the Department of Transport and Main Roads provides for women. I think through the sort of recognition of events like the International Women's Day, the awards such as the Wonder Woman Awards and the events that occur around that, um, the way the leadership, female leaders, both female and male, turn up at those events um, and are really authentic and share their journey is just really encouraging and supportive. The Department of Transport Main Roads has a number of great programs in place that help um, professionally, mentoring programs, having the, the sponsorship as part of the Leadership Ladder program has been really valuable. But also being able to sort of interact with our senior leaders who are at the drop of a hat willing to have a chat with you about what your concerns are or things that you may not have thought about or give you some tips on, on what to try or what's worked for them. The combination of coaching, being able to have exposure to our executive team within the department, meeting more women who are of a similar level to myself and we're all looking, going through similar experiences but spread across the state and across different, department, different parts of the department has been really, really amazing. Being able to participate, especially for a woman, in the Women in Leadership Mentoring Program as a mentee and now as a mentor has been really beneficial. Back yourself. Go for it. Back yourself. Back yourself. 
There are so many opportunities across the department. I've had a number of secondments uh, across the state during my time here in, in the department and some of them have been really great opportunities for me to grow and, and realise that I can operate at a different level or in a different team. And that gives you so much more confidence to be able to back yourself. It's also really important to build your networks and programs such as the Leadership Ladder has really enabled that. Get a little bit away from the imposter syndrome that happens and it happens to everyone. Um, find women or even other male leaders who would inspire you um, and they can help you grow. As cliche as it sounds, I would say take opportunities, but make sure that they're the right opportunities for you. Think strategically, make connections, but most of all, have fun. Thank you.